Okay, we should be live. Alright, welcome, welcome everyone. This is Mr. Ben. I'm here with Matt the Shadow Man and Princess Zena here. Way. Uh, yay. So, yes, unfortunately, once again, our regular host, Everlasting Joy, as well as one of our other regular commentators, Rain Shadow, will not be joining us this week for unfortunate reasons. So, uh, so anyway, so as you can tell by the stream title that you're on the site, um, for those of you who are probably going to be watching the recording here, um, you're not going to see this, but we are going to be doing edutainment games today. So, not just any edutainment games, we are going to be doing games by Rea Systems. For those of you who are aware of this, you know what's going to be coming up, but... I oh, know. <laughs> Anyway, these are edutainment games. Edutainment games has, by nature of the actual name, is a portmanteau between education and entertainment. Unfortunately, these games, these four games in specific, fail on both counts. <laughs> so, yes, anyway, um, what we got here is... Uh, a selection of four, which I have actually went ahead and I have recorded myself. These are raw footage games. These are not, you know, not commentated over. So I did record these. I actually spent about a few hours uh, playing these. So um, this is going to be. Uh, um, You're crazy. That's all I'll say. Yep. I, I actually. I decided to go with the uh, with two specific playthroughs or two specific goals in mind. Either a, I beat the game by finishing it by by playing it through to the end, or b, I play through the game to run out of lives and get a game over. Spoiler alert: I do not achieve the former the former status. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, just letting y'all know now. I'm not going. Uh, you are not going to see the end of the games on the playthroughs that I go through on this. That's probably for the better. <laughs> what did you get like Chanticleer Hedgeman or something? Um no, it was more like along the lines of like that I just didn't really care for how I did when I played through this. I just was like these games are just so terrible that I'm just I'm not even going to rather I'm just not even going to bother actually playing my best at this. Just one question, what format were these for? You know, what systems? Uh all these were Super Nintendo uh SNES. Oh God! Yeah. Uh, just from the just for the thumbnails alone, they look more like NES titles. You would think they would be, but oh no. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and um, start pulling up the first one here. Which one is the first one? Uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, go with the good captain there. Um. Okay. Yeah. Captain. Oh no, I don't want to edit them together. No. Fucking quick time. They changed everything, and they made it confusing. Eh, ain't that always the way? So. Hi, Zed Snares. No, actually, I am not talking about Mario games. I'm at, at not actually doing Mario at all in this playthrough. Um. Oh God, no, no, please, no, anything, no. <laughs> no anything but Mario is missing and um, whatever the other one was. No, I'm, I'm not doing, we're not going back in time, we're not doing Mario's time machine, we ain't looking for him either. So, no, actually, everyone, go ahead and get ready to get your insulin, check your beefy, and get ready to check your feet, we're getting ready to play some Captain Novelin up in this business here. So, y'all got the file ready? I think so. As ready as I'll ever be. Alrighty. Well, here we go. One, two, let it go. Let's play. Okay, I see a cursor. Yep. That You're finding the ROM. There we go. Yep. I, I actually recorded this by emulation. I did not actually do any of this through um, the regular stuff here. And you can tell we've already got a beautiful music here on this. I'm looking more at the title screen, to be honest. That's yeah. just terrifying. Yeah, that is just absolutely incredible, ain't it? It's a work of art. <laughs> it's by incredible. Well, enter the code your doctor said is best for. You. Oh right, so you'd be given a you be when you buy this game, you'd have a code given to you for yourself. I <laughs> take it. Yeah, but what your uh, probably what your doctor would be given here. So anyway, so this is the cat. So this is the idea here. You're a guy who's by Captain Novelin. 
Aliens have just landed on Mount Way up there and they captured Mary Gooden of Pineville, who has enough diabetes supplies to last 48 hours. You have to save him in the world. So, yes. Simple enough story. That is the creepy ass woman, I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, you gotta have to check your little blood insulin there. Um, what? That, that's that's automatically done whenever you ever that little insulin thing there. You have to press down on the down pad; it automatically does that for you. Oh. My. Yeah. So yeah, you you. What? Why why is the character so like huge compared to the rest of the game? It's like I'm watching a Game Boy Advance game. No, I, I'm thinking like Game Boy Color game. <laughs> it's I don't know. This is like one of those weird ones. Um. Um. Okay. Yeah, you just said this game was weird. Could you be more specific? Yeah, I don't think weird is a descriptive enough descriptor. <laughs> more like frightening is actually. <laughs> ah, that moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, one of the weird things here is that you have to actually um, figure out what you have to eat and what you don't not have to. It's um, you, you can only eat like one of everything that's actually given to you. Otherwise, you're going to if you eat too much, if you, if you eat too little, you're gonna die. That, that that's like the the weird thing there. It's actually easier to 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 avoid these enemies than it is to actually fight them. Because you, you'll notice I'm jumping on the enemies here, but you actually can't jump on them. You actually, when you jump into the air, you actually have to hold the down key, or the down button on the control pad, to actually flatten the enemies. Yeah. Because if you just jump on them, then... If you just jump on them, then um, it, you're gonna get hurt. Also, that is one smug-looking black guy. I'm just not not even gonna lie. I missed it. Um. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I how could I comment on something like this? I'm, you're fighting like breakfast cereals, milk. But what what the hell am I looking at here? A cookie dog. Those cookies just are like one of the the worst enemies in the game too, because they are programmed to jump whenever you do, and it is. Just, if you ain't expecting it, you're just gonna jump right into them. Also, those granola bars just suck because they they speed up and they just crash into you when you least expect it. You killed the crap out of that soda can. Yeah. So yeah, you can only take like four hits per life. Uh, your life restores back to full if you manage to beat if you manage to reach the end of the level. Uh, you get an extra life like every 100,000 points. And you don't actually have to, to, to answer the questions at the, be at the end of the level. They just only exist to give you extra bonus points. That's it. Not only do you get all these bonus points, but you also get to have nightmares for weeks on end once you do complete a stage. Yeah, pretty much. Because otherwise you are weird. <laughs> I just thought like you're just playing this bizarrely odd game, and then they give you all these, like, you know, useful pieces of information to do with diabetes. I know. If I wanted to know about diabetes, I'd read a pamphlet about it. I wouldn't play some bizarre video game that has you fighting cookies that look like dogs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. We just read a flyer. Yeah. I mean, look at that chicken leg, potato salad for 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 dinner and all that. See. Wow, this dialogue is riveting. I know. 10 out of 10, G-O-T-Y. I actually kind of upset because one my one one of the, my playthroughs that I was actually recording, uh, actually... Why do they call this exercise when you're just sitting down driving a boat? Yeah, I know. I, I had flashbacks of battle codes right there. Oh god, now I have the Battletoads pause theme stuck in my head. <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> if only this game was... Th this game isn't anywhere near as good as Battletoads. I mean, I would rather play Battletoads than this. 
Battletoads was made by us Brits, of course it was good. Yeah. No turbo tunnel in this game? No, unfortunately. Uh, can I just say how really annoying that boat sound is? Yeah. Is that the Je is that the Jeopardy music? I do, 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 do. They probably were pretty shameless, to be fair. Yeah. Have a turkey sandwich. Yeah, for a bedtime snack after you just had a turkey leg for dinner. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Also, he's apparently not only diabetic, but he's also got some sort of, uh, whatchamacallit, a, um, a calcium deficiency, because he's drinking, like, three fucking glasses of milk a day. The only milk I have is either in tea or in my breakfast cereal. I don't, like, drink a glass of milk. I don't, I can't really stand the taste of milk on its own. Yeah, but, same yeah. here. Ditto. Yeah, I was. I, I used to. I used to have a lactose intolerance. <laughs> but now, uh, now it, I'm fine with lactose. It just can sometimes give me gas. <laughs> I mean, my mum like likes video games, and she's a diabetic. But I don't think she'd want to play anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, those ice cream enemies will also fuck you up too because they're like the one only well one of the few enemies here that actually has a ranged attack. Ugh. Okay, I can see what you mean about those cookie enemies being a right pain in the. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah they are. Because, like you said, you 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 have to the time the jump to where they're they're not actually jumping into you. But it's kind of hard to do that. Wouldn't it be better to just jump and then try and run under them? I've tried that before and it kind of it works on, on a few times, but it, like I said, the the, the 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 timing for the cookie enemies are, are tricky. So. It never went super precise then. Yeah. Uh, I like how you have to avoid stuff that's supposed to be good for you as well. Yeah, I know. Well, had a t I just had a turkey sandwich. <laughs> I was really hoping to get the uh, the check you feet error on on my playthrough here, and I, I I didn't get it. I was so upset. You were so upset you decided to play a different game instead. <laughs> Well, I, when I made him by, I was so upset, I was more like, meh. I was kind of hoping to get that. I was really hoping to actually get that here on the playthrough, but I really didn't care. I wasn't going to play... I wasn't going to play this enough to where I was actually going to record the, um, me getting that. Because I didn't... Well, finished my first bottle of beer already. We ain't, we ain't, we're not even a quarter away through this. Yeah. I ran out of food. <laughs> But to be fair, I'm about to like move all the way to California, so you died. It, yep. Game over. Failed. Yep. And that's when I just decided, okay, you know what? Fuck it. Okay, that game over music was kind of. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Who who did you say these were by again? Raya Systems. Bra I've never heard of them before. Now, until you until you mentioned about these games, I had never heard of them. <laughs> I can safely say that I don't want to ever hear of them ever again. Well, unfortunately, we got three more games by the same people. Uh, are they? Are they the same? Are they all the same developer, or, they, or did they develop their own games as well as publish them? Uh, I believe they went with this, with separate publishers. I believe Captain Novelin was through. Uh, a, Captain Novelin was through one publisher, but I don't remember who published the other three. So. Uh, you mean someone looked at them and went, yes, this is a hot ticket to selling loads of copies for the um, SNES. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Businesses in, ni in the 90s were weird. <laughs> okay, what, what uh, lovely thing is next? 
Well, since we're on the topic of diabetes, let's go ahead and pull up the packy one here. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, the, 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 the Captain Novelin game was for specifically people with type 1 diabetes. The, oh, no. Uh, the game here is for juvenile diabetes, the one that, that's coming up here. Specifically, there was never a game about type 2 diabetes, and I suppose it's just as well. But, um... Oh, but that would be boring as shit because type 2 diabetes is almost all controlled through diet and that would be like, oh, you must make sure you eat this when you feel like this, blah, blah, blah. That it, to be honest, you, you, that it so wouldn't Captain be conducive Novelin? to a good game. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, no, but Captain Novelin, but on Omachow levels. Yeah. In fact, actually, no. Oh, God. Oh, you... God. No, Sonic Omachow edition. No, you... oh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to play that one day now, aren't I? <laughs> it's Sonic exists. Yes, there is. There is. Uh, yeah, Tr trust me. It's. Um, are you a? Are you a nutter? Uh, hey, you you should know me by now. <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, doing anything in Sonic Home Child Edition require um plays the um, extra live fanfare and it gets longer and longer the more things that you do so if you grab a ring Omachow will tell you about it if you get hit Omachow will tell you about it if you if destroy you, an enemy uh, Omachow will tell you about it yeah if you open if you open an item capsule it will sport. tell you like, about it if you land um, it's all av available on emulator. Um, you can it, download it usually from most no, what is it? fan sites. What was it made for? It, it, uh, it's, it's a ROM hack. It. It's a ROM hack. It's a ROM hack of the original game for the Genesis. Yeah. Oh, God. Mega Drive for anyone yeah. outside America. So yeah. Um, anyway, we got this one here called Packy Marlon here. Uh, if we're if we got it ready to go, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, just whenever you are ready. I'm ready. All right, Matt. I'm so excited. All right, let's do, do this in three, two, one. So yeah, back in the old ZS. Is, <laughs> is it bad that the Z says title screen is probably going to be the most interesting thing going here? Yeah. Health hero. Hero. Devel hang on, who was it developed by? Developed by Wave Quest. Who's yep. Wave Quest? Probably never were heard from ever again after this. Yep. You know what I think is more impressive is the fact that uh, back in the day, getting a Super Nintendo developer license was like fifty thousand dollars of today money, and uh, required about uh, three months of developer training. Obviously, not. Someone never told these people though. No, you'd have to go through the developer training to even get this far. Yeah. And yet they waste all, all that time, money, and effort to produce this. Now, I'm not going to lie. I didn't actually do any research on this particular game. I didn't really look up the controls for this game. So, I, I just... The, to be perfectly honest, Captain Novelin was the only one of the four that I actually had some sort of basic experience on. The all the the rest of these three here, completely blind playthrough, completely blind. Oh dear Jesus. So yeah. Well, actually, no. I take that back. The 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 other one, um, the the third one we'll be looking at after this. I did have a little bit of practice on, but this one here, Packy and Marlon, I had absolutely no idea what to do on this one. So, um... Oh! Advantage! That, that actually rings a bell. I'm sure one of the first, like... Blood That's one of the main sugar. blood uh, glucose yeah, companies. I'm pretty sure my mother had one, uh, that brand, actually. So, huh. yeah. internationally recognized. So yeah, I'm I'm just basically swimming around here. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I'm I think I'm supposed to wow. be clicking. I I actually it's like it's yeah, like a cheap horrible rip off of the um, water levels from Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, and I'm like and thinking by cheap. I mean like really cheap. I'm like thinking to myself, I don't know what is enemy here. I mean, I'm I'm actually surprised they even gave me some sort of projectile attack here because with Captain Novelin, I mean, you don't have anything to to. I mean, aside from the jumping on enemies, uh, to actually, you know, fight enemies, you you don't give any power ups. You don't get any extra lives. You don't get any weapons. Uh, well, I'm sorry. With 
with Captain Novelin, you don't get any weapons or power-ups. I mean, like I said, you do get the extra lives every 100,000 points, but I mean, with here, I don't know if, if it's the same thing. I mean, I don't know anything about this game. I'm just blindly playing through, just swimming around, trying to figure out what the hell to do. I'm like, this is Sounds just... like playing Echo, then. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I found this game to be immeasurably boring. I mean, completely dull, because I'm just going around picking up stuff that I'm like, okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm like, I don't even know what the bar in the upper right is. I mean, I know the one in the upper left is my health, but it's like, um, what's, what's going on with this? And also, why would you be swimming around like this during breakfast? Exactly. So I'm like... I'm like thinking to myself, do I go go for the apple? Do I go for... I mean, I, I know I'm supposed to... Apparently I'm supposed to only eat so much with what... Um, like with Captain Nova, and I'm only supposed to eat so much in regards to my food. Otherwise my blood sugar is going to, um, to, to do something here. And then I found out that this thing is actually... Oh, that's an NPC. That He's, he's supposed to be a, f a friend. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know about these questions. What am I supposed to do? And I'm like, okay, oh, well, I got that one wrong. Well, fuck that. Um, and, the, and the NPC disappeared, right? Yeah, and NPC disappeared. So I'm like, well, he ain't coming back. I'm like, well, fool. I know I'm supposed to find that... I remember from the one screen that I'm supposed to find that monitor, like, well, okay, well, where the heck is that supposed to do? Is that supposed to, if I get that, will the level end? Well, okay, well, where is it then? Well, I'm just searching around trying to figure out what the heck to do. Um, just killing enemies still. Wait, you, you dropped your blood glucose monitor into a lake or something? Uh, apparently so. You, you know that would irreparably damage it, right? Yeah, that would be what I would think, but um, apparently these things are waterproof in this game, or this game's worse. More than waterproof, they're like... How many, how many meters below surface level are you at the moment? Yeah, that, that's another thing. I'm like, okay, well, the, apparently I'm not only in I underwater, but I'm also in some sort of underwater maze, and I'm like thinking to myself, well, okay, well, what the heck's up with all these green things here? I mean, what do these green things do? Why am I collecting them? Oh, uh, and oh, hey, and I'm like, oh... It must be the world's smallest elephant as well. It's like smaller than a seahorse. Yeah. And I found the little, uh, whatchamacallit, the little monitor, but, oh, okay, well, I found the monitor, but, oh, what is it? There's a fucking toaster underwater. Yeah. <laughs> like, what What am I supposed to do? Okay, I thought the whole purpose, uh, I thought the whole purpose <laughs> of the, um, you see, now I'm tripping over my own tongue here. I thought the whole purpose of the level was to, um, get the, the little monitor and figure out, well, what the heck am I supposed to do? Well, okay, uh, I got the monitor, but the level's not ending. Well, what am I supposed to, am I supposed to eat more food? I'm, I'm, no, I'm missing something there in the upper left. I got a zero underneath what looks to be like a little thing of greens, but I'm, I don't see anything here that looks like a little thing of greens, and I'm like, well, am I supposed to just eat everything in sight or something like that? So I'm like, well... There's at least one point in here where I just say, screw it, and I just start grabbing everything, figuring, well, I don't care about the blood glucose. I figure, well, I'm just going to find a way to just kill myself. Well, if I'm going to kill myself, then I might as well just go ahead and just go glutton and just eat everything in sight. And... Basically, you went for the Pac-Man approach. Yeah. Because, like I said, I mean, I don't know anything about this game. It's not telling me anything else about what I'm supposed to do. I mean, apparently some rodents stole their our insulin uh, supplies, but I'm like, aside from that, I mean, that's the only thing that I've got going for me. There's not an FAQ for this on game FAQs, then. I don't think so. I didn't look for one. <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, who would actually give a monkeys enough to actually write one? Yeah. Mind you, I believe there is one for um, Runaway Rainbow, so yeah, there are some crazy people out there. Huh. If you take an energy, yeah. when would it peak? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, that's another one I got wrong. You died, Mr. Gun. You died, you got killed. Yeah. R.I.P. in peace. Yeah. Ow! And of course, my back still bothers me. Or I'm, I'm trying to get comfortable in my chair, and I'm like, uh, freaking tailbone just doesn't want to work with me here. Did you break it or what? No, I think I just bruised it during the crash. 
Bones are weird. Yeah. Ligaments are just as weird. Yeah. When I broke mine, that was that was not fun. Yeah. And I found like this thing here, this treasure. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I can't do anything with the treasure. I figure. And well, seahorse is apparently a non-enemy because it's not damaging me. So I'm like, Ugh. okay. I, it's at this point that I figure, okay, you know what? Just f fine. I'll just eat everything now. And, or no, not eat everything. But it's more like I'm just gonna just say to heck with it. I I don't really know at what point I just finally threw my hands in the air. I just figured screw it because this is like the one game I decided not to even go for the game over. I just I I actually deliberately lost the life, and I figure okay, I'm just gonna play something else. Yeah, I mean you could have played you something yourself, good. You moron? <laughs> <laughs> Well, at that point, I was still trying to figure out what to do at this point in the stage. Um, and I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I'm still looking around for something to anything, just any clue to just point me in the right direction. And, I mean, there's nothing. And I'm just, I'm, I'm still trying to, yeah, still trying to get a feel for the controls. So, still trying to health again, you moron. Yeah, still trying to figure out. Okay, I, I'm I'm trying to figure out. Okay, well, I'm getting an idea for. Oh, hey, the NPC's back, and he's like telling me, okay, well, I got one of these right. Like, oh, hey, I actually got a question right for once because he didn't give me the right answer. So I figure, well, all right then. Ah, I notice you've got like a star now above breakfast, so perhaps you have to just basically swim around, find these NPCs, get the questions right, and then the end of the level appears or something? You know, to be perfectly honest, that might be the case. I didn't even think about that at the time. Wait, it, it just you've got a star the now underneath you? breakfast. Yeah, because I didn't even notice that when I was playing that for the first time. To be fair, this just looks... Boring as all hell. It was. It was. It was like uh, of all four of the games I played, this was the the most boring that I've actually played. I mean, at least Captain Novelin was bizarre. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, it did look good, but yeah, I can see you're now just basically trying to kill yourself as yeah. soon as quickly and efficiently as possible. Yeah. And he doesn't even give you a death animation, he just goes poof. Poof. And I just... And I just figure, okay, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna... Just... Done. <laughs> I'm out of here. So... So yeah, that was Packy and Marlin. Um... So, then... Oops. Hang on. Uh, no, no, stop, stop. I don't want to... Ah, no. You call it Packy and what's-his-face.mp4. Yeah, because I, I didn't remember what the name of the character... I didn't remember what the other name of the character was at the time. I was just... I was done with it. I needed a, something to name the file. I was like, what was the name of the game called? Packy and... and What's-his-face. Yeah, and fuck yeah, I don't even remember what his name is. I'm just going to go ahead and just... Call <laughs> done. <laughs> right, next, next game. <laughs> so... Oh. So yeah, um, so this is the th the third game here. Um, let's go ahead and do the dinosaur one, the bronchosaur one here. Oh, this one's a slightly longer playthrough, so you obviously got a little bit further with this one. Yeah, this was this was the other game. This is the only two game. This was the only of the. The, the second of the four games that I actually had a little bit of practice on before I actually played uh, my recorded an actual playthrough of this. Uh, this one here is called Bronchi the Bronchosaur, uh, and I just what type of dinosaur is that again? It's supposed to be a bronchiosaurus. I have no idea. I I just uh, <laughs> I saw a very bad cough. Yeah. Well, it's actually kind of funny because this game is indeed actually supposed to be about asthma so um yeah it's <laughs> oh boy this i'm i just <laughs> i can't help but just face palm and just thinking to myself what 
the hell were these people smoking when they came up with this? So and where can I get some? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got one the, the file loaded. I'll go ahead and I'll um we can go ahead and get this uh playthrough here. Okay. I'm ready as I'll ever be. All right. Matt? Uh yeah, I'm ready. I uh, guess. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go in 3 2 1. ZSNES. Yes. ZSNES. That's where I got. I you had you had... Country there. You could have played that instead. I could have played that one instead. Yes. <laughs> oh, you did see Wave Quest again. Yep. Oh joy. Developed by Wave. I know, to, I know to avoid any games developed by them in future. Yep. Well, I don't think you ever have to worry about that. I think they went out of business. So. Um. I mean, if I was like looking through old games that were obscure, and I end up seeing one developed by them. Yeah. I know so, to avoid it. So yeah, we have uh, two characters. We have uh, Bronchi and Trachy, uh One of which is a Triceratops. The other one is I don't know what the hell he is. Struck Sansarian. Explosions yep. filled the sky. So mighty wind machine was made to clear the air so everyone could breathe. Mm. Then Mr. Rexel stole the machine, hid its pieces all over Sans Warren, and forced the other dinosaurs to protect the pieces. Yep. Now the dust is coming back. Help Bronchi and Trachy find the lost machine pieces. But don't forget to check your asthma. Yep. Okay, that was just about perfect for reading. That. Yes. And the problem is, is that this daily med thing here, I, I, for the longest time, I couldn't skip it. I'm like, so I have to skip through, I have to sit through the stupid animation of this guy just using his stupid inhaler. Avoid these asthma triggers. Uh, it's bringing no. up bad memories of me as a kid. I had asthma as a kid. Yeah. But I had to use. I didn't use like the traditional inhaler. I had to use like a disc, round disc type oh one. Oh god, those ones. Really, really yeah. weird. Yeah. Hey, I, I told you I was weird. Even even when I have illnesses, I have them weirdly. Yeah. I used. I had strep face at one point. Not strep throat. Strep face. Oh wow. I mean, I had colic at like the age of six. Normally, you only have that like when you're really young. What's that? It's like a it's like a viral throat type um, infection type thing. I think I can't quite remember to be honest. Oh, because I, I remember I also had like strep throat like fifteen times or something stupid. Bronchial tubes are large muscles in the brain. Yes. <laughs> Passageways to carry air. <laughs> So yeah, as you can tell, he he his main primary. Yeah, I tried avoiding that. And I'm, I'm sorry, but one of the enemies just looks so bizarrely designed. It's unbelievable. It's like got the longest face I've ever seen. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, that's supposed to be its worse. mouth. Um, I have more mucus in my lungs, and my bronchial tubes begin to swell. What happens if, if my asthma gets worse? I get to, I get to, I go into my super form. Yeah. And I, I don't think this dinosaur has a super form. No. Spoiler alert. Though it would be, though it would be cool if it did. It would be like, I don't know, like, uh, what's a good name for him? Uh, Hack. Uh, that dead end there. Yeah. Uh, Wheeze. Uh. If there was a bad guy called Weezer in this, I probably would actually just shut the video off right now. <laughs> Peak flow, highs and lows. More Wait, lows what? than highs with this game. Yeah. That was the end of the level? Yep, that's... Wow. Yeah, Peak it, flow each... is the strongest breath you can blow into a peak flow meter. If your peak flow goes into the red zone or below half of your usual best, start your emergency plan. So yeah, each level here has got like three stages. At the end of each level is an actual boss fight. Now, this is like the only one of the games Wait, that... the smoke was invisible. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, what the hell am I supposed to look out for on this? <laughs> I like how this level just looks almost absolutely identical to the last one. Yep. But there's moving platforms this time, come on. 
Wow. I mean, look at the amount of pixels that you know. This looked like a blooming a, a turd log that was just moving along in the background, to be honest. You'll also notice that the more that he runs into the asthma triggers, the screen gets a little darker and darker every time. So. There's an inhaler. Yep. And if I pick that up, then I can... Um, if your peak flow goes behold half of your usual best, you should continue my regular activities. Watch two hours of TV and don't tell anybody about it. So yeah, I think I'm supposed to find that red guy in every level and like get a machine part from him. Because I, I, I get another machine part by beating the boss at the end of each level, but at the same time, it's like I can't actually complete the stage unless I don't get a machine part too. So it's it looks like, like an enemy. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell which one's an enemy and which one isn't. Can I just say how incredibly bland and boring the music is in this game? Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I like almost all of these these games are just incredibly bland, bland music. I mean, the the, the palette on this scale. I mean, you 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 you've seen how colourful games can be on the on the um, SNES. I mean, this. Okay, it doesn't look like a, a, an NES game. I'll give it that, but it certainly doesn't look as vibrant as a lot of um, you know SNES games. I mean, it looks like a Mega Drive game to be honest, or a, or a Genesis game, really. Yeah, and, it, and that's it, not and that's not and that's not being nasty to the Genesis. That's just more a case of them, the developers. I don't know whether these were actually made for the um, Genesis as well as the SNES. Yes. As far as I know, to at least explain sort of how it looks a bit in some regards. As far as I know, the does what Nintendo. Don't. As far as I know, the these games were only made for the Super Nintendo. They were never made for any other platform. I mean, they look like they they, they actually. I'm going to scrap that. I'm going to say they look more, much more like Amiga games. I'm going to be really British here, and yeah, they they look very Amiga-esque actually. Or like a Coleco or something. Uh, no, not that old, but <laughs> still pretty crappy. Or an uh, Amstrad. That, that's what it was called, right? An Amstrad? Uh, the Amiga was... Well, there was the Commodore Amiga, and then there was just... Uh, it's really confusing, because I know Commodore and Amiga ended up basically merging, sort of, kind of. It's... It's weird. I, I I'd have to look back at the history of it, and I just can't be bothered. Basically, well, you can tell that it's it's it actually technically more superior than most Genesis games because it has parallax motion with the background. If you look at the background, moves at a different speed than the foreground. Yeah, but you could you you probably could do that with 32x if people actually bothered to develop for 32x. So no, the, what you had to do is you had to develop for the CD 32x. What, like Night Trap and just about nothing else, really? Yes, you you have to develop for the CD32X because that is the superior <sighs> Genesis. I, I, I disagree, it's particularly if you had like the original um, Genesis model, because apparently it would look unbelievably messy and horrible. And yes, like it, 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 it's not even its final form. <laughs> Well, the, the funny thing is, though, they were going to be making, I think it was called the Neptune, which was basically going to be a standalone 32X, which is what the 32X should have been anyway. But to be fair, they were kind of making a 32X anyway in Japan. It was called the Saturn. <laughs> I was actually tempted to answer some of these questions wrong just to see what would happen. But... I think all it would do is it would just like tell me no, it's wrong, try again or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna play the game again just to find that out. You know, it's actually kind of it's actually kind of funny because I did label these games terror bad games. Um, when I wouldn't say they're, I wouldn't say they're terror bad. I I, I, I I could at least see these actually being somewhat playable. Yeah, Some the, of the games I've played have not even been that. I must say, this particular one, out of the four that I've played, was probably the most... Well, actually, no, the, the, the last one on the list here, the one that's... Uh, oh, wow, we get to see a boss fight. Yeah, the, the only one with an actual boss fight, yeah. 
Okay, so how many frames of animation has he got there? Like four, maybe. If the you're boss lucky. or the good guy? Uh, the boss. Uh, the, the good guy. I've not really took much notice of, to be honest. <laughs> But he's probably only got about five or six at the most. Oh no, sorry, I just seen another one with him hiding in his shell. Huh. So he's got five. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That animation, yo. So what's this education all about, by the way? Bron uh, bronchitis. Oh yeah, asthma. Asthma, asthma yeah. yeah. There's, so, there's so little about- oh yeah, I keep forgetting about these. So. Yeah. It is important to watch for early warning signs of asthma, such as coughing and shortness of breath. <laughs> Breathe in slowly. You see now, I... To be fair, that's kind of a, pretty much the mantra of being here at the moment. Yeah. Watching these. You see, and I actually managed to make it to the second level, and I'm like, okay, yeah, you know what? Ah. Uh, I'm like, how many levels does this game have? Uh, okay, answer, too fucking many. <laughs> how did you not die? <laughs> I think I got lucky there with that one jump. Ben how is many... secretly the wizard. How do you have so many lungs? Well, see, the lungs are actually supposed to be a breath weapon. Um, they're supposed to be like, if you if you utilize a breath weapon, it'll use up a set of lungs on the that you can collect. But what? Yeah, it's it's weird. Um, the, the weird thing is, is that if, if the, the, the screen is sufficiently dark, if you've got, like, too many triggers for your asthma, you can't actually use your breath weapon. So, it's like... I want to make some sort of joke or involving Tumblr and triggers, but yeah. I can't. This game has just sapped the life out of me. And see, this is what I'm doing right here. So you can, if you pause the game, you could actually have it to where you could test the peak flow on your character. If the peak flow is too low, you, I can actually utilize the inhaler that I just picked up. So I went ahead and I did that. And when I pl go out, you'll notice the screen's a little bit brighter. I was just gonna say, if your flow, if your flow is too high, though, does that just make you a bit too peaky? No. Sorry. No. Sorry. No, that Sorry. makes you, uh... That makes you dead. I think. Also, if you if he jumps hmm. on, on top of his peak flow meter and starts go, going along like on it like a spaceship, does that make him a flow rider? Okay, um, you're... No, bad. <laughs> bad. Everyone's gonna be booing at me in the chat in a minute. And see, and I was trying to avoid that one guy. I was like, I'm trying... Okay, how can I jump from the... F jump down from the rope and I was like okay I can't jump down I can only jump up and I'm like okay well I actually have to crawl down okay there we go <laughs> the frog just murdered himself yeah you know I think I found something that looks a bit more terrifying than this game <laughs> I'm almost afraid to add okay now this is a this was a crazy jump here I was trying to to get up and I I lost life Have you ever seen, like, an eyelash curler before? I have. They look like... Like... Medical weapons. Huh. Like... I'll put a link in there, in the chat. These things are like... They look freaking terrifying. I don't know, but that was that was. I, I just have one like near my keyboard, and I figure that's more interesting than this game. Yeah. Like I said, the game, the, the none of these games are particularly exciting or fun. And I just it was it I I I lost a life up here, and I was like, okay, you know what? And I was curious, do I have to like go and answer that guy's question again to to get that? piece of machine that I picked up the last time or do I have to go back and or do I still have it with me but then it turns out no I actually have to to answer his question and I have to get the piece again 
And I'm like, shoot, okay, fine. And then I'm like trying to jump. And Wait, is that frog jumping off the bottom of the map? Apparently so. Oh, it's sprite flickering. Uh, uh. This is a super this nice. We don't need terrible. to have sprite flickering. <laughs> And then sprite I flickering was a trick that they added in the NES era to emulate being able to show more sprites on the screen at once. And then I fucked up the jump again. And then I just realized, okay, you know what, I'm on my last life here. I just f decided, okay, you know what, I'm sick of this game. I just don't want to play it anymore. Fuck everything. <laughs> and hero. <laughs> You are in hero. I'd laugh if that the tech told you said congratulations, congr congratulation, you for playing a great game. Now rest our weary hero and all the other spelling errors and everything. I've probably, I've completely screwed up the Ghostbusters joke there anyway. Oh god. <laughs> oh, don't give me nightmares. <laughs> It's the best game to play as play as a mascot's logo. <laughs> okay. What's next? What's next? And then this is the one that I actually got, believe it or not, the longest playthrough of the entire run. Uh, oh, we, get to go on a fan we get to go for to on a fantastic voyage. Yes. This is Rex Ronan, experimental surgeon. <laughs> This is, in fact, a like I mentioned on the for on the file here. It is a poor, fantastic voyage ripoff. Effectively, what this is is this is another one of those uh, brachial games. It's it, not so much on asthma. It's more like along the lines of smoking, the dangers of smoking, the effects and after effects of smoking, um, emphysema, COPD, so on and so forth, and yada yada yada. So. This is probably the most visually interesting of the four games that I've played, but it is still not one of the most fun. I'm going to say that right now. And like I said, I was actually really surprised how far I got before I finally got a game over on this one. So, uh, but yeah, it's about nearly half an hour in length, and... Capital K for quality, I take it? Oh yes, very much so. You say this has got, like, Surgeon stuff in it, so is this like an early predecessor to Surgeon Simulator? Um, <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Oh, God, no, please. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, well... Could you, imagine, could you imagine an SNES version of Surgeon Simulator, though? No, 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 even better, Atari 2600 version. I would actually rather play that than this, then. Don't give me ideas, please. I've played the twenty six. I've played the um. The, played the Atari um twenty six hundred version of um Doom. Doom. That's no Doom. I've played Doom on twenty six hundred. That's fu that's funny. There's a twenty six hundred version of of Doom. Let me uh, Google someone, this. Someone tried. Someone tried to make Doom for the twenty six. I'm sure. I'm sure it was Doom. If it wasn't Doom, it was. It was Doom. Ones, it, yeah. I'm. That's, I'm pretty sure they Doom did try it. Doom twenty six hundred. Yep. I know. Oh yeah, wow! I've, I've, I remember playing it. Oh, once. it was a hoax. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um. Uh, I, I'm sure I've played something for it though. That that was like something completely ridiculous that they've made for it. Like that that's a you'd shame. Never think would be working on there. It probably doesn't work. But anyway, uh, let's uh, go for this voyage, shall we? All right. If you got the, if you got it loaded. Yeah. All right, Zena. Yeah, I have it loaded. I'll count down. All right. Three, two, one. I never get tired of the ZSNES logo. I actually prefer SNES 9X, but I wasn't sure if that would actually go with the... Uh... Sculptured software. Yep. Mm. <laughs> I, lo I, I, expe I love the 90s extreme logo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. The music sounds like Super Metroid. Jake Westboro thought he had it all. A successful sales career with Blackburn Tobacco Company. But then he started smoking when he was 15, and now he's dying from the cigarettes he once sold. Jake's only hope is Dr. Rex Roden, a beautiful, beautiful. experimental <laughs> surgeon. He will shrink himself to near-microscopic size. And Vore. 
So basically, deadly micro robots from Blackburn's tobacco company have entered Jake's body. Use with caution. So this is just basically similar to an episode of the Magic School Bus. Basically, I, I just I just said Fantastic Voyage because I know this was there was an actual movie that actually had people getting shrunk down to microscopic size and entered into someone's body uh, for stuff like that. I don't remember what exactly it was about, but could this text sc scroll any? Slower? Hard deposits cover the teeth. A thick white plaque of leukoplasia lines the throat. Jake's teeth are stained and decayed. Gums are puffy. Remove the tar and leukoplasia deposits quickly as possible. What? Yeah. The hell am I looking at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, this is one of those games. <laughs> what, the, what the? This is like one of those Japanese like shoot 'em ups that you. See. This reminds me of, uh, what's it called? That one uh, game that was on Steam Greenlight for uh, cleaning after cleaning up after a, uh, like, Doom or something. Yeah. You know? I don't... I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember the name of the game. It's like a janitor simulator or something. Yeah. To be honest, this is th it's not that much different from this being like a window cleaning simulator, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. But instead of window, you have... Yeah, you're cleaning teeth, yes. You're stopping cancer. And I... Do you realize, do you know, you, there is one massive fatal flaw I have with this Smoking stains. Why don't you yellow. just... Why do we need to shrink a man into our mouth to do this? Why can't you just use, oh, I don't know, a toothbrush and some toothpaste? <laughs> or a spaceship. Yeah. Get the, get the power up. Come on, get the power up. Get the power up. Yeah. No, you blight or you lost it. <laughs> well, see, like I said, this is on one of those other games that I had like absolutely no idea what the hell I was doing. This is a blind it playthrough. Was, it was it was shiny and not colored like the background. That means you should have got it. <laughs> I'm like thinking I, I don't know what the hell these do. I don't even know if I'm supposed to pick some of this stuff up. I know I'm just apparently I'm just supposed to shoot stuff. On teeth, and I'm sp do I do I do a perfect score? Do I like actually shoot everything here? Like, what the heck am I supposed to do? Is does my gun have infinite ammo? <laughs> I, I like I, I like the uh, think to think the idea of those numbers is the number of seconds of your life that you have wasted doing this when you could have been doing something else. Yeah, using tobacco products makes your teeth clean. What? What? Wait, huh? Yeah, and that, that was like, what? What? And I, False statement causes damage. Yeah, and I was like, wait a minute. How did I... And they're like, what? What? Arrow. And I'm like, okay, well, apparently I'm supposed to go forward, but I'm also supposed to clean this guy's teeth? I'm like, wait a minute. And I, am I supposed to... Am That's I supposed to advance or what? Incredible. And I'm like, oh, don't tell me. I'm gonna be in for the long haul on this, aren't I? And I'm like, are you? Are you? Have you got to do his entire mouth? And that, that was. Oh, no. That, oh, that, no, I can see from the map up there. You've got to do five teeth. Five, well, ten teeth. What it looks of it. Toothies. Ten toothies. Yep. Oh. oh, you got blasted by a robot from the space. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, what am I? I was like, like car exhaust, cigarette smoke has carbon monoxide in it. I was like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to shoot that again? And I'm like, okay. Go, go hug it. Give it, give it a hug. <laughs> True statement destroys enemies. I, I'm going for like the strong dad uh, voice here. Um. I'm like. I'm on fog, my God. Or, uh... Email! And that, that's when I, when I, I finally noticed, like, okay, what the, what's that beeping noise? False statement causes damage. 
Uh, oh, that thing up there in the upper... The thing, I was like, hmm, okay, is that my health? Is that my ammo? What the hell's going on with this? I was gonna ask you that, what the hell do all Look, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the, 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 um, the five digit number is like a score, basically, and then obviously the number above it must be your lives or something, and I suppose the Chewing tobacco the and digits. stuff cannot cause cancer of the mouth. I'm like, okay, I know that's false, but I'm like, huh. So what do I do about it? Um, I'm thinking what I'm supposed to do is if, if it's like a false statement, I'm not supposed to touch that thing. And it just goes away uh, on its own. Ah, uh, fair enough. So you t only touch it if it's a true statement, and then obviously it probably gives you... Um, you died. Yeah. And that was when I really realized, oh, apparently the that thing up there on the left hand, or the upper, the the top bar is my health. But then I was like, okay, well then, what about my gun? Do I have ammunition, or you know, is this? No, that seems to be your gun ammunition. I will continue doing this voice for an unspecified period of time. And I'm like, okay, uh. I uh, figure, well, okay, well, am I, how I'm trying to figure out, okay, what am I, how am I supposed to even get that thing down there at the very bottom, that little dumb thing, ah, screw it, I'll just go ahead and I'll continue to go somewhere else then, and I was like, oh, well, I wanted to get that tiny little thing there, but then, okay, well, not, not a problem, simply. and I figured, okay, well, apparently I don't need to do a perfect score here, <laughs> I don't, the, the trachea, the trachea is lined with thick muscus, green globs of phlegm clog the passageway, phlegm must be cleared quickly, so I'm like, okay, then... Star Fox! Yeah. And I'm like trying to figure out, okay, well, I'm trying to shoot this stuff, but it won't actually shoot. And died. I thought I cleared that, and apparently I didn't. So, like, okay. Trying to shoot some of this stuff. I'm like thinking, oh, now it's moving! And I'm like, oh, how did I not crash? This is the goriest game I think we've ever seen on CQ. Eh. No, I think that we could do worse. I'm like thinking of my... Unless you, unless, you count, unless you count me wanting to cut my arm wrists with, with rusty blades playing Sonic Genesis, then yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I was like, okay, now we're we we go on from side scrolling, you know, side scrolling, uh, shoot 'em up platforming to an on rail shooter. I'm like, okay, can this get any more boring? And I'm like, okay, well, it probably can, and probably will. Hmm. You are about to reach a point where you cannot continue forward. You are bad at avoiding damage there, Ben. Yep. Trachea complete. Entering the lungs. How am I thinking to myself, why is this text moving Power so slow? Slow down the flow of air to the alveoli, cutting off the oxygen supply to the blood. Precancerous cells threaten both lungs. Remove tar deposits and precancerous cells quickly. Uh, even the music's just bad in this one, too. At least it's more entertaining than the music for uh, the other ones. Yeah. Precancerous cells. As opposed to the pro post cancerous ones. I'll be right, Boyak. I think he needed some uh, liquid encouragement. Or I something. Finished my, I finished my beer after the first game. I feel deprived now. I don't have any. <laughs> Tar! Ugh, <sighs> okay.
Okay. I think I got the. What did you What did you get? A pillow for my back. Oh. I was actually kind of disappointed with some of these power ups here. Like the instead of the one where I had like the uh, what you call it the the rapid fire one, it only replaced it with this like single shot one. I was like, man, this single shot actually kind of sucks. Cause hey, hey, Mr. Ben. Yeah. What do you call it with a million donkey? An ass. Yeah. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Damn it. You're too smart. <laughs> oh, there's the fact. Smoking can shorten your life up to 15 years. True. Enemies destroyed. Thank you for answering with the truth. Brave adventurer. But there is no truth in science. Only, on, only theory. And like, some of these tricks were kind of pretty tricky to make too with some of these weird uneven terrain here. As it, as into everything else that's normal in this game. Yeah. Your gun is kind of like Mega Man's gun. It can go through walls. Yeah, like, well, at least that's one good thing about this particular weapon. At least I can fire through solid objects. Uh, so you I can... were right. This is visually interesting. Yeah, like I said, out of the four, this is probably the, the most visually interesting that we've got, but... Like I said, just visually interesting graphics does not a good game make, so... Oh, no, no. I was like, oh, wait a minute, my health is getting low again, what the... Pointing smoking is easy. I was like, well... Oh, depends how much to, well, that, that's a bit of a misleading question. It depends how much willpower you have, really. Yeah. And, and health. Well, obviously, Mr. Ben doesn't have that much health, so... Ha, uh, I made a funny... And apparently, I got another. This kind of reminds me of with this, like gun and that, and sort of. The, but I wouldn't say the things you're doing, but in just just the gun in general, and just sort of like the movement, it kind of remind me of Alien Storm for the uh, Mega Drive. It, it's actually quite a fun game. You mean unlike this one? Yeah, it's also quite fun in co-op as well, much like Streets of Rage. Except you get to fight aliens. Except instead of pre cancerous cells. First lung area complete. Entering the bronchial tubes. The bronchial tubes are clogged with green phlegm. Remove phlegm before further damage occurs. <laughs> Entering bronchial tubes. Yeah, we got more rail shooting. Huzzah! Don't die, don't die. And I saw the scope. I was like, I somehow managed to glance damage off of that. I was like, what? I didn't blow myself up. I thought I was a goner for sure. I'll be honest, compared to all the other games we've had so far, this one's actually been one that seems the most like, you know, a game. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I'm trying to go for like a, a robot version of the TF2 soldier or something, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Cancerous communist lungs. It has good. It, it has good animations. Yeah, like I. Uh, this, like I said, out of the four that I play, this is probably the the best for any a given definition of best. That I've played. Uh, I, tubes complete. If if I had to choose between which of these four that I absolutely had to play again, it would probably be this one here. Entering the final lung area, <laughs> there is a lot of damage from emphysema. The lungs are enlarged, and the alveoli walls are broken down. Precancerous cells and tar pollute the area. You know it's bad when the tech scroll is so slow that you're having to wait for it to quick catch up with you. Yes. Destroy tar and precancerous cells. Entering lungs to the return of Spock. 
And that was we, what I really. We just need a video game being voiced vo voiced by uh, Zena now. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just play that. <laughs> Yeah, it was then I just realized, oh wait, I actually have a kick move in this game, and it's just as bloody useless as everything else except for my gun. I'll just continue to use my gun because I can at least can kick, I can at least hit stuff with my gun. Hey, it's a sweep kick though. He, you know, perhaps his special move is to go into break dancing. Maybe. Ah, 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 ah! Stay alive, stay alive. Well, you know, it could be a bit like Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, like where you can just get everyone on the screen to start dancing and then it just kills them. Oh, that would have been fun. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker is funny as it is, though, to be fair. I mean, name many other video game where you get to increase your magic meter by grabbing your crotch. Hey, hey. Destroy Tar. Tar is being destroyed. Good luck, comrade. <laughs> this music is, is kind of like terrible Super Metroid ripoff music. It is. And then you could probably think of this as some sort of rip off to Metroid, just without the puzzles or the really well designed levels or, or the music or or anything. Or <laughs> actually good cam or actually good gameplay control, because because you'll notice I'm trying to make that jump up to the the higher area, and I figure, okay, you know what, the heck with that, I'm gonna just go ahead and continue forward, see where that gets me. So. And I was like, okay, let's. Just clean up the area here and continue going forward. Or yeah, I'm like thinking to myself, like, why am I going so far? I mean, I'm th in regards to trying to get all this stuff up, and I'm like, you know, part of the perfectionist in me just wants to get everything up because it, that's just how I am. I just I don't like leaving an incomplete job. But, and I didn't even realize what the question read. I, I I just I shot that too fast, and I just walked forward without even actually looking at what it what it read. I'm like, oh, I guess I got lucky on that one. And like, oh wait, the game's telling me to go back here. So okay, well obviously I'm, I'm missing something, and I'm trying to jump up there. Like, okay, well I made the jump, but then all right, well what about up there? Okay, well can't make the jump on that. Uh, I'm like, okay, well, what about here? Can I... And that that's like, oh... You are stuck. Yeah, I'm like, what? Uh. Oh, okay, oh. like, oh, well, I managed to... Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, like, actually getting frustrated at that point here because I'm trying to jump out, and I'm like, okay, I have to, to angle my jump, but I'm like, okay. Uh, finally. At least the hitboxes on that is so bad that you can stand right in front of it. Yeah. Oh, there's a rapid fire button. I mean, that's at least somewhat convenient, right? Yeah. And I'm like thinking to myself, okay, wait a minute, why am I get losing health? I mean, I'm not taking that much damage. I'm like, can only think, like, okay, well, is my health kind of just, you know, the same thing as, like, a timer or something? Am I only, like, given so much time to complete a level, and if I don't complete it in a certain amount of time, then my health starts getting low? I'm like... I'm like, okay, I can't go here. Like, well, what about... <clears throat> Free cancerous cells and tar. You must destroy them for great justice. I should get back to playing Zero Wing on here again at some point. In AD 2101, <laughs> war was beginning. Yeah. What happened? Smoking, all, all your lungs are belong to us. Yeah. Somebody set up us the bomb. 
It's you. Ow. How are you, gentlemen? <laughs> All your base are belong to us. And I'm like trying. I'm trying to get up to where I'm trying what to. You say <laughs> you are on the way to destruction. You Ow. have no chance to survive. Make your time. Ah. And my laptop just re joined on in the chat. <laughs> huh, I'll, I'll have to check my laptop here once I get done with this. But I'm like, okay, well, why am I not able to make the jump? I'm trying to get above that thing, and I'm like, okay. No, can't jump that high. I was like, oh, can't jump that there. Can't. I figure, wait a minute, what am I? Am I clipping through the freaking bottle? Or on the, am I clipping through the freaking stage? Oh, like, you broke it. I'm like, okay, uh, did I break the game? I'm like, okay, fine. I'm just going to keep going forward and see if I can't, you know, actually do that. And I, oh, wait a minute. What's this? <gasps> I clipped through the stage. I can actually advance. I think I can clip through the stage. And, you got wrecked. And I'm like thinking. Hardcore. <laughs> I'm like, okay. No, you could have used the enemies to push you out of that, but now you're kind of stuck. <laughs> I, and I, I just realized, wait a minute, could I? No, actually, I was able to jump out of that. I was like, okay, huh? I don't care. I can advance now. You got hit. You got hit. You narrowly missed getting hit. More people die from smoking than car accidents. True. Enemies are destroyed. Thank you for your patronage. It's hard to come up with this stuff. <laughs> and and I was like, really, well, can I clear off the tar with my kicks? Apparently, no. I have to use my gun. Annoying. You can't do it with your pumped up kicks. Yeah. extra life acquired, I think. Yeah. His, my life went from zero to one. You uh, got a life. Uh, Surprising, seeing as you're playing this game. Yeah. Tell me about it. About it. Is that sufficient? <laughs> I said, tell me about it, not say about it but no I told you quote about it unquote oh, oh. well that yes. works yes you can't fire down you scrub and I'm like wait literally yeah and I was like wait what <laughs> free cancerous cells detected eliminate them for glory of Astrovia I was like, wait a minute, I'm supposed to go up now? Like, what? Okay, um... How am I supposed to make the jump? Oh, okay, well, I'm trying to jump. I'm trying to jump. Uh, no, I didn't want to jump to the right. I wanted to jump up. Do a barrel roll. I was like, okay, fine, if I can't jump up, let me see about advancing forward and see if I can do anything about that. And what well, uh, you your way scrub. back to that position. <laughs> Get wrecked, big time. Oh, did you guys hear that they released Euro Truck Simulator 2 for the Mac? No, I didn't. So I can play Euro Truck 2 now. Huh. Not sure why I would, seeing as that I have a history with those type of games to break them, break them in ways that aren't even entertaining. I actually was actually disappointed with Euro Truck. I thought I was gonna maybe be able to wreck the truck in like Grand Theft Auto style, and I wasn't able to. I found it way too easy to get the truck stuck outside the map. Uh, you are almost out of gleaning power. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? How did I die? I, I, I just, I lost health, and I'm like, okay. You died. 
And that's when I came to the conclusion, well, okay, well, apparently my health is also my timer, because I'm trying to, to reach up that one one ledge. Oh, I finally made it, and the motherfucker knocked me back down. Uh, okay, finally, yes. I Go! Oh! This game needs some better music. Yes, tell me about it. About it. Enemies destroyed. You did not give me enough time to read the question. Uh, smoking hurts both you. When your parents smoke, they hurt both you and themselves. That was what it read. Oh. Well, duh. Yeah. Only the man would not want you to think that. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> This level is, like, goes on forever. It does, and I was like, what? And that was when I just started getting like, okay, this is just getting really, really boring for me. I seem to be bottoming out uh, my spectrogram by doing this voice. I was like, hi. I figure, okay, nothing over here. I guess I had to go back over to the right. Oh, I don't know what I thought. What possessed me to go over to that specific direction? And, just, and I figure, okay, you know what? I'm just going to even not... <laughs> not care, I'm just gonna fire these things, <laughs> not bother just cleaning up the thing, I'm just gonna kill these things as much as I can, okay, next level, I'm done, final long area complete, entering the arteries, the arteries are blocked by yellow plaque, the artery walls are very damaged, Jake's condition is unstable. Remove the plaque quickly. And Entering like, Artery 1. Yep. Insert epic rock solo here. And like, okay, so now instead of the actual lung areas, we're in the bloodstream now. You know, things like that inside your bloodstream are generally fatal. Yeah. This guy is in terrible condition. Why are you inside his bloodstream? Well, I'm supposed to try to save him. That's the reason why I'm even there to begin with. To try to zap this stuff out of him. But seriously, like, what are you doing? You died. Ha. Yep. And I was like, okay, you know what? I actually have credits here. I could continue the game, but I've been playing this for like half an hour. I figure, screw it. Congratulations. Congratulations to all. Dr. Ronan has failed. Jake will never be able to expose us now. The secrets of smoking and chewing tobacco will stay with us, and we will take over the world with our evil plans because we are secretly lizard people. <laughs> Game over. And I figure, okay, you know, that's kind of a weird bad ending to game for that. And I figure, you know what, just... <laughs> no. I'm not even going to bother playing the game to see what the good ending's like. I don't even want to know. I'm just... The game was just so boring. I'm like, I'm... No. I'm done. It's over. I, it's I, over. I, what is I, I, I actually kind of almost fell asleep there. That's... Oh. Good. Yeah. Happy game yep. complete. Yep. Happy fun end. We're done. It's over. Go home. Complete in massive quotation marks. Yes. But hey, complete complete enough for me. Yeah, like I said, when I when I played the game, I played the game with two specific goals in mind. Either complete the game in its entirety or get a game over. Either one is 
uh, either one is done. Uh, and I figure, okay, if I get a game over, I'm not going to lose sleep over this, because these games are just ugh. <laughs> so. Uh, so, yeah, that... Edutainment games. Educational, entertaining, failing on both accounts. Just Remember, if you try to do everything, you will end up doing nothing. <laughs> so many people fail to realize this, and then we get things like Windows 8. Uh, eh, there are worse things than Windows 8. Yeah, there Windows, Windows 10. There was, there was Windows ME. <laughs> You also fail to realize that Windows 10 uh, right now has a, has a, is logging every single keystroke people make on it. It's a good job I don't have Windows um, 10 then. Don't use it. <laughs> Seriously, it's not worth it. Well, it just gives me another... Is it, is it technically any better than Windows 8, or not really? Well, the version number is better, and they have a start menu. That's it? Effectively, so that's all you'll see, yeah. Well, you kind of... They kind of sort of brought the start menu back in Windows <sighs> 8.1. Kind of, sort of. Yes. Um, do you know, want to know what I do? I have this program called Classic Start. And what well, do I do? You bring it back. <laughs> anyway. it, it, it does the most amazing thing. It puts a start button and the Windows 7 start menu on the screen. So basically, it turns Windows 8 into Windows 7. Yes. And I would rather be it's using the best, something... It's the be be best Windows 8 upgrade. It makes it more like the previous version. Hmm. Well... You know you've screwed up when basically the best thing you can do with your previous version is to revert back to the original. Yeah. And like I said, that's the whole reason why I have not even upgraded either my desktop or my laptop because I, I don't want to to use Windows 8 at all oh, if ever I, if you build if you build your computer on certain uh, places you can still buy Windows 7 uh, uh, licenses so you, you 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 can still build a new rig and have um, hmm. Windows 7 so I haven't found it through anywhere I usually go through uh, you know any any of the stores that I've been building my stuff from but I'd have to do some no, more research the, on it. The laptop I use has Windows 8.1, but the one I actually originally bought was like an old, uh, was like the the last like Windows 7 stock the shop had. But I brought it home, and obviously it must have been one that had been brought back to them because I couldn't even. Well, I turned it on, but it was like trying to log me in as someone else that obviously I hadn't logged in as, so it had obviously been used before me. Oh. So they like, sold me like a second-hand laptop, so I wasn't very impressed. So yeah. Alrighty, well, uh, since we've reached the end of this particular CQ uh what do we want to do for next week? Hmm. Uh, what, where, let me fire up the list. Hang on a second. Well, well I, I know... You, you did have something as a backup in case I wasn't able to make it today. Did we want to go ahead and go with that for next week? Uh, with the, bub, the Bubsy TV pilot. Yeah, still, <laughs> still theoretically, still technically theoretically video game related, but not quite. Yeah, <laughs> don't expect me to do a playthrough of any of those games, folks, because I'm not doing it. I'm just not. I, I, while I don't hate the first two games, like a lot of people, I yeah, the third game, the 3D one, yeah, that's just painful hmm. um let's say in regards to uh let's see the seek where is perhaps this we, perhaps we could tag team up with the battle toads pilot as well we that probably could do that yeah yeah lengthen it out yeah that would oh man battle toads tv but just oh that's gonna be fun in and of itself wait that's a thing Yes. Yes, they tried to make a, a, a TV show out of Battletoads, much as they tried to do it with Bubsy. It was about as successful. I have never heard Although, of Bubsy. Am I, is that a good thing? The Bubsy uh, TV pilot is... The Bubsy TV pilot is terrible but tolerable. The Battletoads is significantly less. So... Well, I, I would explain what Bubsy's about, but then we'd be spoiling next week if we are doing that next week, so... so. Oh, dear God. 
So yeah. All I'll say is is that it has actually some reasonably talented people in the Bubsy pilot, whereas they didn't have that luxury for the Battle Toads one. So let's see what we got here. We got well the the, the other list here. Let's the see. Other, other list. Yeah. Yeah, well, we we got employee training videos. We got the <coughs> room. The Wendy's one is great. Yeah, I actually have those on my on my hard drive. I got the Wendy's training videos. I've actually streamed those before. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, what's this still doing on the list? We did this last week. Um, or yeah, we did this last week. What? Why is it still doing on here? I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. So, um, yeah, we also got the Goosebumps TV show. Um, got, oh, we did infomotions before, right? Yeah. What's that still doing on the list still? Okay. Um, yeah, we just got a whole bunch of stuff on here. We got... Yeah, let me go through what we've got here. We've got Tentacolino, we've got, uh, What a Cartoon Cartoons, we've got Jetsons the Movie, uh, is that Hope? Who? Who? House. Su? It's it's Housefowl? it's a Japanese pronunciation of house. It's a houseu. Um, it's houseu. Yeah, it's it's really really weird. It's it's supposed to be a horror movie, and it winds up being kind of like a sort of a comedic one. It's it's hysterical. Um, uh, we have CGI. Is it weirder Ash than the ABCs of murder? I've never actually heard of that one. Um, it it's weird. Uh, really weird. Really, really weird. So, um, we've also got the CGI Astro Boy from 2009. We've got the Lone Ranger, the one with um, Johnny Depp. Uh, Aladdin and the Adventure of All Time. Uh, Quest of Camelot. Future Armor Beast with a Billion Backs. We've got the Goosebumps TV show. Uh, we've got the Bubsy TV pilot, which we've already mentioned. Uh, yep. We've got What's Up Balloon to the Rescue. Uh, the Little Panda Fighter, Super Mario Brothers the Movie, uh, Cats and Dogs Revenge of Pussy Galore, uh, The Room, uh, yeah. the 1925 Silent Wizard of Oz, uh, Turkish Star Wars, the Star Wars Holiday Special, uh, Transmorphers, uh, Employee Training Viz, which I think you've already mentioned. Yeah, we've done uh, that. Uh, yeah. Captain Fathom, uh, Fred the Show. Uh, uh, Fred the Show, uh, we've got Hyperdrive, uh, Highlander 2 The Quickening, uh, Jack and Jill, uh, uh, and uh, we have Maximum Overdrive. Thank God you don't have Master of Disguise on there. Oh, right, and Master of Disguise, just to see as uh, Xena's just uh, come up with that idea. <laughs> there we go. You monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the list now. <laughs> Actually, I think my vote goes for Transmorphers as well. Actually, yeah. Um, I'm I'm good with anything, really. To be perfectly honest, I don't really have any specific. Um, I don't have any specifics. Uh, what a, I hate it when my train of thought just gets totally derailed. I don't have any. Um, I don't really care what we do. That's what I'm trying to say. Bottom line. So. So much to do, not enough time to do it all in. <sighs> Let's we just need to have more time per time. Yeah. Let's see what you want. One, two, three, four, eight, I'm probably not going to be able to do that voice again. <laughs> yeah, we got like half a year's worth of stuff on here practically. Wow. You mean we have like twenty six lines in that spreadsheet or something? Well, like I'm, I was, we got more like thirty uh, entries on like lists of what we could do. Oh dear God, that's over half a year. Yeah, if we do one thing per week, yeah, that's like half. A, that's like over half a year. <laughs> hey, and some of those things is like we've got the G three specials there. That's that's like several weeks worth of material just there alone. Yeah. So we have a year of material. Pr probably. Dear God, what has science done? 
So yeah, are we are we going for transmorphers then? Are we or? Uh, transmorphers will work for me either that or the Bubsian battle toads one. Uh, we can leave that for another time. Okay, well, transmorphers it is then, at least for my vote. Yay! So join us uh, next week, everyone, as we uh, go into a ripoff of uh, Transformers. Transformers. Actually, the asylum well, isn't as bad as you'd think. Uh, they're they're actually half decent huh. in this some is, cases. Yeah, but this is half decent based on Bayformers here. So yeah, yes, um, that's like half half of virtually nothing is very little at all. I mean, Atlantic. I, I've been watching some of the movies by the Asylum while I've been waiting to hear back from from job stuff, and it's actually half decent. But I might have like Stockholm syndrome. I'm crazy. <laughs> oh, we love you anyway. So, alrighty. Well, thank you all for joining us, uh, everyone. This has been Mr. Ben. Oh. We're supposed to say the names now, right? That uh, this is this. I'm, I'm that Xena person. See, yeah. I'm that British guy. <laughs> yeah, Matt the Shadow Man. Thank you all for joining us for once again for CQ Rifts. See you next Saturday. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye.